everyone, Happy New Year. It's January 2019, and I told you last time, 2018, sex exercise. Exercise for your abdomen, for your glutes, and I tell you, I just had a great workout with one of my favorite patients, Juan Hodges, in the house, here to demonstrate for us how to get that core exercise going in the groin and the buttocks and stuff. So again, exercise is great for your, not only your sexual function, but for your heart. And I'm lucky enough to have one of my favorite yeah. patients talk to us about how to do some nice exercises to get that glute and that core going, okay? So remember, this is all for wellness and health. And I'll tell you that it wasn't easy. I'm sweating the storm right now. But if we can, we're going to talk to Quan and find out whether he finds that this is hard for women or difficult for women. So women that you know that are doing exercises for their butt and for their core, do you find that this is hard for them to do when they're trying to lift these weights and trying to do things to try and get their gluteus or their core stronger? I don't think it's hard. Um, it's all about embracing a lifestyle change, you know? And once you do that, as you, once you see it as a lifestyle commitment, then it's not hard at all. But one of the things I will say is that it's 80% diet. Um, uh, and I don't even like to call it diet because for me, it's just a lifestyle. A way of life. Yeah, like uh, no fast foods, um, limiting your refined uh, sugars and your processed foods. Junk foods. Yeah, yeah. Even though I can't cook, I try to cook as okay. much as I can at okay. home. And so really it starts with that. Right. And it starts with embracing a new lifestyle that you can be committed to. Excellent. Do you find that in this part of town, in this part of the country, it's hard to change that diet? It's hard to to find foods to eat, to sustain yourself? So one of the things about Atlanta is that it's changing drastically. It and it's, it's, it has a lot of influence from other cities that embrace this type of healthy lifestyle right. eating. Like for example, California. One of the reasons I love Southern California so much is because you have a lot of healthy options that are actually good. Atlanta hasn't always been like that, right. but now there it's are restaurants. More it's becoming modernized more modernized and yes, aware of yes. the wellness trend, right? Absolutely. And like, if you go to New York, where there's a lot of gluten-free foods, yeah. here it's tougher, but you can now find them in Publix and yeah. Kroger, whereas you couldn't find them before, but yeah. now you can find them. Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking of going on a raw food diet. What do you think about that? So That's a tough one. <laughs> it is tough, but I'm kind of quasi on a raw food diet uh, myself. Tell me why. Well, typically I do about six, six to seven meals a day. Okay. And three of my four uh, meals are just raw vegetables and uh, protein. Right. I remember you do a blend. A, a, I do do a blend. Great smoothie yes. with raw eggs. I remember. Well, not raw no. eggs. I just do the raw vegetables, raw vegetables. In, my, in my smoothie. And no eggs. Fat. No eggs. No eggs. Ah. Yeah. That's not your protein. You use the protein. I use isopure, which isopure. is a pretty I've pretty heard good about protein. That. Yes, a lot of patients right. use that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what else do you you know use for your six meals that are raw? Is that fifty percent raw or? Not all raw or some Not cooked? Not all raw. Okay. Um, my meals are like uh, maybe 30% are raw. Okay. But okay. most of them are cooked, but they're okay. home cooked. Huh. And I do a lot of shopping at some of the health food stores so I can get the organic grass-fed gotcha. meats. Meats. Do you and do, a lot, really of, do you do a lot of meat? I do okay. because I'm in it for strength. Got it. Got I, I want to build a lot of muscle. muscle. Yeah. Okay. And, and you have to get a lot of protein. To that. get that. Right. Yes. What about um, like... Uh, the carbs are they complex carbs like quinoa, couscous? I only do complex carbs. Complex carbs, for yeah. example. So it's um, steel cut um, steel oats, oatmeal, right? Um, quinoa, quinoa, um, brown rice. Brown rice. Yep. Any purple potatoes? You know purple potatoes? I, you know, I don't do purple okay. potatoes as much, but I do. I do sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, excellent. Yes. And do you drink a lot of water? How much water do you drink? I probably drink about a gallon of water a day. Wow. So I do drink a lot of water. Wow. Water is pretty much the only thing that I drink. You drink. Yeah. No green tea. No I drink coffee. I drink a cup of green tea maybe every two days. Okay. No coffee. No coffee. Right. No coffee. Wow. And I've even cut back on alcohol drastically. I may have a bourbon, okay. a, gla a okay. glass of bourbon once every three weeks. Nice. nice. But that's about it. Yeah. And if I do do it, I only do straight bourbon on the rocks right. without all of the uh, fruity mixtures. Wow. So that's how you keep your muscles so beautiful. <laughs> Isn't try. that beautiful? Love it. 
Thank you for being a guest on Dr. Sure. Kathy's show. It's my pleasure. Stay tuned, you guys. You're going to see this body become like his very shortly. Okay? Thanks for listening. Don't forget, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Ciao.